Yo, what's Crackle Dackle Tarot Dactyls? Welcome back. And yo, we are taking a look at the Patropolis Combiner today. Yo, so, so, so pleased to bring my man to you. I was going to wait another week because there are a ton of other builds in queue, but I was like, whatever, dude. Let's just bring it to the community, to the fandom, and have some fun. And so, whether you own the Patropolis set or you have one Airwave, one Ironworks, um, these MicroMaster guys and uh, a double dealer for the missile. Um, if you have those components, those ingredients, you can basically whip up this dish. And so we're going to go over the tutorial on how to um, build them today. Yeah, my voice is super scratchy right now, but hold up. Let me see if I can um, clear my throat right back. All right, I don't think that did it, but whatever, dude. Let's get on with the show. And in order to illustrate how he's going to be broken down, we have Prototype Homie. Where's Prototype Homie? There he goes. So we're going to have Prototype Homie basically show you how it's done while the completed form of my guy over here, we're just going to put him to the side, okay? So um, if you've noticed, if you noticed a second ago, the arms are made of the little MicroMaster guys, and uh, I'll show you later how they plug in. It's super simple. So let's focus on the more, a um, little bit more esoteric, the little bit more um, difficult parts of the build, right? So if you take a look at Prototype Homie over here, you can see that the bottom half, these are the airwave legs. These are flipped backwards. And then on the bottom, you just have the ironworks legs plugged in with the flaps folded up to hide that cavity over here. And also the feet kind of look better when you arrange them in, in this manner. And so um, another easy bit that we're going to remove from the back is uh, this part over here. So this is just the airwave bit, the airwave body, one of the arms plugged in like so, the back flap of the ironworks over here, and then the waist crotch area of the ironworks um, plugged over here. And this is where all the armament's going to sit. I mean, you'll see it here. I mean, you can see where that's at in the um, the final version. See all that armament back there? That's basically just this bit. Um, right, you see it, right? So anyway, yeah, back to prototype, homie. So why I call him Prototype Homie is uh, my Batropolis guys were at work. And so I just had, uh, uh, what is it, Hothouse and Ironworks. And so I just prototyped it. Um, okay. So over here, we have one of the Airwave arms. And it's just kind of um, angled like that and plugged in so to provide more bulk to the torso. And the same thing for the other side over here. This is the Ironworks square arm that folds up. And so there you go. And then, of course, this over here is that hook that you just plugged into the middle of the ironworks chest. Now, the magic where all of this happens is from the other ironworks arm. You know that one angled one? Uh, is it trapezoid? I don't know what shape you call this, but yeah. So you need to angle it like this. You have the wrist area plugged in, the top of the forearm, into the, the waist bit. And the waist bit, you are folding it down. You are bending it backward. And then you are getting that hole prepared to plug into... That little peg right there then you just go it's a nice little fit and you um, kind of angle it so that the weight is bearing down and so yeah if you look at it right there there's a bit of an empty cavity but whatever man these are just toys dude use your imagination have fun you know what i'm saying don't let things limit you um and then over here like i said iron uh airwave body airwave arm ironworks legs uh ironworks flappity flap and then you just plug then plug this in like so. It actually has a tighter fit on the, um, the over air and the Metropolis guy. And so once he's prepared like this, you can plug in the car arm over here, the spaceship rocket arm over here, and then you can put all the armaments up here. And then so we'll swap them out now for the final dish. And so, all right. So as you can see, I'm not even going to bring the other guy back inside. So we have the missile plugged in over here. We have the airwave gun over here. The second half of the missile the second half of the airwave gun, and then the ironworks gun hanging out over here as well. And then the car bit, well, that has a peg that plugs into the arm, and this has a tiny peg that becomes the elbow joint. And this just kind of naturally has a bend over here, and it has a plug that sinks in right into that shoulder port. And that's it. That's it. Pretty neat, huh? I mean, I've made some um, Metropolis combiners before. This is not my first one, but I think it definitely is my favorite one. And I'm very, very pleased with the results. And um, yeah, I think you will be too. I think you will be too. Yeah, so if you own the Metropolis set or if you have their uh, mold mates, yo, follow this video, have some fun. And um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you can have uh, a good time, um, can find some peace, de-stress. And um, yeah, I hope you can be creative, kind to yourself and kind to others. And that's it. Mr. Rogers, I mean, uh, Bachbender Orange, over and out. Yeah, God bless Mr. Rogers. Rest in peace, you holy soul. Adios. Bye-bye.